Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are doing a little testing. Now, for those of you who've been following my channel for a while, you guys know that I put Kong as my commander on my California because anti-aircraft memes. And if you've been following the uh, progress, you'll know that I have not once been put in a goddamn carrier game since I've put that commander on the ship. So, I just happen to be joined up with Dark Architect and Sir Cat, and Sir Cat is a carrier player, so he brought out his carrier, and I was like, this is the perfect opportunity to test out the AA on this California, and lo and behold, we never get targeted one time. So that's why I come up with the idea to make this video. It's going to be a fun match, don't get me wrong. Crazy, all the fun showcasing why California is as good as it is, but at the same time, why the AA build on the California makes absolutely no sense and why you should definitely not do it and why Kong has been retired to Skull Island for the foreseeable future until there's some other reason to actually use him. Because it makes the California trash. T-R-A-S-H capitals trash as you're about to witness because we had the opportunity to have a ridiculous game in our california and what we actually accomplished in this match was nothing short of a god dang miracle and yet all that i'm left with is thoughts of what could have been what might have been if only if only we had any accuracy in this match what do you mean, Spartan? I mean, when you look at the dispersion that I'm about to have for the majority of this match, because I'm running the AA build on the on the thing, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. As we have a over-angled Gorky just begging for it out here, we're going to go ahead and take the shot. Watch this dispersion. This is like guaranteed dev strike, right? Like, the dude is freaking begging for it. You can't get any better than this. It starts to reverse, so we're like, okay, we aim behind him. No big deal. We take the shot, we look away for a minute, making sure we're okay. We look back, and that dispersion is awful. Only one shell manages to find the target and manages to hit the one place that the Gorky has armor. Go figure. Now, you can't continue to get away with that forever. Like, eventually you're going to get caught. It's going to happen. But uh, notice that there's not a single plane anywhere near us except our own. So... This is what I mean about the California. I think at this point, everybody knows that California is AA ridiculous, right? And so most carriers are just flat out going to avoid going anywhere near you if you just happen to get into a carrier match. Like, we knew we were going to be in a carrier match this time, and we were like, yes, well, I will take the California, and I'll sail into the center of the map, making myself a perfect target for the carrier, and the carrier still is like, nope, I ain't going anywhere near that ship. Screw that. So instead, we're left taking what the enemy gives us. Now, we already talked about this yesterday in the Shima, and oh my god, you I'm love to see that, it. Um, Thank you, Microsoft, for your amazing I'm working on accessories. This $120 controller that just randomly disconnects for no freaking reason. It's fantastic. Now, we finally get our controller reconnected. We go back and looking at the Gorky, once again, just begging for it. And finally... We get the Citadel, and he goes down. Shocker. Now, we have a couple of ships off to our left. We have the uh, Queen Elizabeth still out there to our right. But it's time for us to start paying attention to the rest of them. Their cruiser is about to go down. They do have an Andrea Doria directly off of my uh, 2 o'clock. They have an Andrea Doria off of my 11 o'clock. And they have a Mutsu out there floating around as well. Now here, I am pretty confident I'm going to kill this guy, but look how slow these turrets turn, which brings me to my next point about this AA build. Your turrets are so ungodly slow that even the Conqueror is like, dude, you need to hurry up. <laughs> like, what is the turret traverse on these things? I swear to God, I could have a god darn gerbil in there running on a freaking wheel and they would turn faster. But again... We have them in the place. We're going to take some more damage from the other Andrea, but good news is California thick, so it doesn't get it doesn't get Citadel very often. And of course, accuracy once again punches us right in the face. 
It's like, yeah, you've got a broadside Italian battleship. You could citadel him if you could hit him, but we're not going to allow you to hit him because you chose to go AA, which means you chose to be useless. Now we get punched by the Mutsu. We get punched by the Andrea. Andrea didn't really do anything. We got angled pretty well. Mutsu still lobbing the island on us. Again, not that big a deal. I've said it before. I'll say it again. The one good thing about this build is you get plenty of heals, right? So that's at least a good thing. But here's the bad thing. Once again, begging for it. Easiest shots in the world on a over-angled Mutsu, and you just get nothing. Just nothing. Nothing at all. We, we land two hits, and they both go to where the Mutsu has some armor, apparently. Who'd have thunk it? But it's okay. Because, again, RNG can only protect you for so long. If you keep making stupid plays, eventually, even the worst RNG in the world will eventually make you pay for it. Now he opens up again, we get a couple of pins, a couple of overpins, not sure how we overpin his belt at this angle, but whatever, we'll take it. It's damage, at least we're hitting the ship and doing damage at this point, right? Now up to this point, we only have 36,000 damage. That is pathetic. But don't worry, I promise, it gets better. It really does. Now here, I was really trying to get the rear guns around. You know I'm used to playing some slow, slow turning turrets, so I can deal with the turrets. But uh, here, while Mutsu's going behind the island, I wonder why a Mutsu would choose to go broadside, guys. Anybody have a guess? Why a Japanese battleship with torpedoes, or battle cruiser with torpedoes, would go broadside to you? Could it be that he's launching torpedoes? Yes, yes, it could. Now remember, Mutsu only gets two torpedo tubes per side, and they reload very quickly. Like, kamikaze-esque quickly. So you know he's got more torps, and lo and behold, there's more torps! Who'd have seen that coming? Now, if you're broadside in a Mutsu at point-blank range, you die. That's how that works. Even with the worst RNG on the planet, I still double Citadel and manage to take all of his health, and Sir Cat comes in and gets the cleanup kill. Like, these are the moments that I just look at this thing and I go, why did I ever decide to try to meme it up with the AA build California? Like, it is taking everything that's good about the California and making it awful. Just awful. If you ever put Kong on any American battleship, you deserve every bit of bad RNG you ever gonna get. So remember that, folks. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. The AA is fine on its own. You do not need to buff it. Now, if you want to buff it and you want to take the first slot and increase your AA range, that's fine. But do so with your normal dispersion build commanders. Okay, so definitely William Sims for that extra extra accuracy. Your turrets will thank you. Your 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 anxiety and just absolute like your blood pressure. Your blood pressure definitely gonna thank you. Like just don't fall for the meme of going full AA build on an American battleship. You will hate life. I promise you. Don't do it. Just go for the basic, put the AA module at the beginning of your, your equipment, and you'll be fine. Everything else you do not need. You don't. Just forget about it. Just play a normal American battleship and put the AA module in there, and that's the best AA that you're going to need. Everything else is fine. Just leave it alone. <laughs> now, Andrea Doria takes another chunk here. He gets another shot at us. Again, we're thick. I ain't worried about Italian guns, especially at any sort of range like... We know the Italians don't have any bite. They just don't. I, I am never afraid of an Italian battleship except for Lepanto. That's it. Lepanto, that's it. That is the only one that, that even remotely scares me. And even it, if I get its broadside in any ship, generally it's dead. That's just how that works. But, uh, but yeah. So we managed to bring this one back. We got 77,000 damage. We're in the California. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, that's a small map, right? It's lower tiers small map, there's still a chance that I can make this game interesting by getting a potential shot at their carrier. And sure enough, carrier gets spotted, the Sirov is ready to go. If he wouldn't attack me, I might as well attack him. That's the way this works. I was like, I had the perfect setup to test against the planes at tier five to see if it was worth it. And I can resoundingly say it's absolutely not worth it. Do not run an AA build on your California. Just don't do it. It ain't worth it.
you you will much rather have a California that is capable of just being absolutely vicious at any given time with turrets that rotate in a decent amount of time. I'm not saying they're fast, but they're better than these. I, these are like 50 second freaking turret traverse or something. It's stupid. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. But we finish off by sending the shots downrange. We took all of that Sirov's health, and of course we leave him with just enough. But fortunately, we get another shot at him, and we take him down. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you disagree that the Cali should be an AA build? Because personally, Kong, you're retired to Skull Island from henceforth. But 111,000 damage, we end up with three kills. We only shot down two planes in a carrier game because they just don't come near you. Dark Architect coming in top of the leaderboard. Sir Cat coming in fifth. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.